Hello everyone, welcome back to Excel Fort. My name is Faumi and today we have an exciting topic to dive into. In today's video, we are going to take your Power BI line chart to the next level by adding a creative twist using error bus. Now, you must be wondering why error bus? Well, error bus are an excellent way to visualize the difference between actual and budget data in a single line chart without the need for an additional chart. But don't worry, if you are new to Power BI or if you have never worked with error bars before, I'll guide you through each step of the process. It will make it easy for you to implement this technique in your own Power BI project. Alright, let's get started. Let's start with a simple line chart. On this line chart, I have already added the months and the sales amount. Our aim here is to create a chart which will show the sales amount along with actual versus budget sales variances on the same chart. To achieve this, I used error bus. Let me show you the steps. First, we need two measures with zero values. I have already created them. One is the negative bar, which is zero, and the second one is the positive, which is also zero here. Now, I'm going to add these two measures onto the secondary axis of the chart. I'll explain you why I'm doing this so this is the negative and the second one is the positive now if you look at the chart uh, on the secondary axis you see zero that is where these two measures are sitting that's my bar and based on this line i'm going to create upper and lower bound of the error bars to show the budget variances so for the positive bar i'm going to show the positive variances for the negative bar, I'm going to show the below budget amounts. So I've already created two measures. One is the above uh, budget, which is simply calculating the sales versus budget when the amount is greater than zero. Similarly, I also have below budget measure, which calculates only when the sales versus budget amount is less than or equal to zero. Now I'm going to go to the error bar section the error bar i'm going to pick a positive bar and turn it on so for the upper bar i'm going to select my above budget measure similarly for negative bar i'm going to enable it and pick for the lower bound the below budget amount now it's showing uh, the variances along with the line chart if you make selection on the slicer it's showing it but if you look at it there is a problem the error bars are overlapping the line chart here so in order for us to move this error bar away from the line chart what i'm going to do is adjust the height of the y-axis and the secondary axis for that i have created meshes basically two meshes which are dynamic so it's not hard coded let me just show you to adjust the y-axis, I have used uh, this measure. This basically calculate the highest sales amount. So in this case, uh, we have 3.4 million. That will be the highest sale amount across the month, which I'm going to take and multiply it by three. And I'll have in this case, 10 million. That will be my upper value. I mean, the maximum value for the range of the y-axis and for the Secondary axis, I have also created a measure which calculates sales versus budget amount, the highest value, whether it is positive or negative. That's why I have used apps function here to get the absolute value. So which will calculate and again, I am getting the threefold of it, multiplying it by minus three as I am going to use it on the minimum side of it. So let's go and uh, assign the y axis range click on y axis under range you have minimum and maximum this could be hard coded or you can assign a measure then it becomes dynamic regardless of the amount that appears it gets adjusted automatically now for the maximum value here i'm going to pick y1 measure so now the line chart is below the error bus still you see uh, it's slightly overlapping so what i'm going to do is adjust the secondary axis similarly you can go to the secondary axis this time it's the minimum i need to expand below zero so i'm going to click on fx and pick y2 
now I am getting the effect I wanted so when I make selection it gets adjusted nicely now what is left is the formatting we don't need the y-axis I can turn off secondary axis and under lines I can make a negative bar zero for the stroke width as there are two lines overlapping I'll just pick only one so positive bar I'm going to pick and make it one and let's make the color gray and line style will be dashed and for the markers I don't need markers for the positive bar I can turn it off as well as for negative I can turn it off now let's go down to uh, the error bar section and apply the formatting under error bars let's pick uh, positive first for positive I'm going to open the bar option over here and the color is going to be green I'll change the marker shape to box and make it three I don't need the border so I just make it zero similarly I'm going to apply the formatting on the negative bar here when the actual versus sale is below zero it's going to be red this will be three no need for borders here it's perfect now I'm going to turn on the error labels for the negative and for the positive one now this is clearly showing the sales trend as well as the variances between actual and the budget now if you want to enhance it you can add to page tooltip to show the percentages and other information that you want to show so the last part remaining here is the series label since I have removed the legend so I need to indicate what this error bar and the line chart mean here right so for that uh, I can turn on the series labels here yes the sales amount is fine but negative bar here that's showing up from the secondary axis value so I have negative bar measure I can rename this to show a budget variance for this I will use windows period and pick a symbol the one I used last year yes, this is for the Delta I'll pick that and uh, say budget so budget variance and let me apply a bit of uh, formatting here uh, I can turn on the background for this the color could be something light yes instead of showing uh, on the right we, I can show it on the left side we're going to series position and make it to the left yes with that we have come to the end of this video and now the chart shows both the sales and the budget variances by adjusting the scales dynamically I hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions please leave it in the comments see you in my next video thank you very much